these are my special lines, um, horizontal and vertical lines. <clears throat> and these are actually easier than the diagonals, but sometimes people forget, or students forget, you know, these guys, the horizontal lines and the vertical lines. Well, let me do it like this. I'll do them in separate pages. Let's talk about horizontal lines first. If I have a line that is horizontal, this is what it looks like. Let's just, for example, here's a line that is horizontal at y equals 2. What's the equation of this line? Well, notice that at any point on this line, the y-coordinate is always 2. I don't care what the x-coordinate is, right? Any point on this line, the y-coordinate is always equal to 2. So the equation of this line is simply y equals whatever that value is, in this case 2. The general form of these equations is y is equal to k. k is a number. So for example, if I have um, a line down here, let's say a line down here at negative 3, the equation of this line is y equals negative 3. So every horizontal line has the equation y equal to a constant. That's the general form. Now, let's talk about the slope of these lines. I want you to notice again that the y-coordinate, for example, here, I don't care what the x-coordinate is, the y-coordinate on this line is always 2, right? So if I were to do, let's say, the slope using the slope form formula, um, remember, it's change in y. Second y-coordinate minus first y-coordinate over whatever the x, it doesn't even matter what these are. Notice that in the numerator of my slope formula, I'm always going to get 0, I'm always going to get 0 over some number. It doesn't even matter what the denominator is. 0 divided by something is 0. And for every horizontal line, the rate of change is 0. It's a constant function, right? Constant. These are also constant functions. This is a function. It passes the vertical line test. f of x is equal to some number. I could write this as f of x is equal to 2. f of x is equal to negative 3. These are constant functions. They're horizontal lines. We talked about that when we talked about intervals of increasing, decreasing, and constant functions. Any horizontal line, also known as a constant function, always, they all have a slope equal to 0. The rate of change, change in y over change in x, is always 0. The y-coordinate of the points are always the same. Uh, vertical lines, another special line. Vertical lines are obviously lines that go up and down. <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's do one here. Here's a vertical line at x is 2. Notice any point, I don't care what the y coordinates are at these points, every point on this line has the same x coordinate to blah doesn't even matter where the heck the point is. The x-coordinate on all of them is 2. Therefore, the equation of this line is x is equal to 2. The general representation um, of these equations is x is equal to k, which is some constant. So if the line is over here at negative 4, all the x-coordinates are negative 4, the equation of this line is x is equal to negative 4. So this is the general equation for vertical lines. Now notice that none of these are functions. They don't pass the vertical line test. So I'm not going to write this in function notation. They're not functions. Right? It's just x is equal to some number. Let's talk about the slope. Now, let's look at this line. All the x-coordinates are the same. So if I were to, let's say, use the slope formula, y2 minus y1, oops, y2 minus y1 over all the x-coordinates are the same. So for this one, all the x-coordinates are 2. I don't care what the y-coordinates are. Notice that if I have a vertical line and all of the x-coordinates are the same, the denominator, whatever this is, the denominator of this slope formula is always going to be 0. Always going to get 0 on the bottom of the fraction for a slope for a vertical line. And we cannot have 0 on the bottom of the fraction. We call that an undefined slope. UND for short. Undefined. So all the slopes but these lines are undefined. So vertical lines, uh, horizontal lines, y is equal to some number, are also known as constant functions. The slope of them is 0. Vertical lines, they are not functions. x is equal to some number, and their slope is undefined. So if you have, let's say, find the equation of the graph, find the equation, 
of the line. Uh, let's say through the points. Let's do the first example, A. Through the points 2, 3, and 4, 3. You can go through the process of finding the slope and all that, but I noticed that the y coordinates are the same. y is equal to 3 is that equation. I expect a horizontal line. 2, 3 is here. 4, 3 is here. Horizontal line. y is equal to 3. This is also a constant function. I could write it in function notation. The slope is 0. Write an equation of a line with an undefined slope through the point 2, 3. Undefined slope. Aha, undefined slope. That's a vertical line. 2, 3 is here. Vertical line has the equation x is equal to some number. Well, what does x have to be equal to in order to go through this line? It has to be the x-coordinate of this. x is equal to 2 is the equation of that line. What's the slope? Undefined. So if the slope is undefined, automatically it's a vertical line. These are very easy equations to write. It's just that some people forget about them. Um, because probably they're so easy or they're quick or whatever. Okay, so again, slope is 0, horizontal line. y equals to some number, also known as a constant function, so it can be written in function notation. Slope is undefined, or the x-coordinates are the same. Not a function, but the equation is x is equal to that x-coordinate.